everyone, thank you for joining to learn about Swipe Simple today. And in this video, we're going to be going over how to use invoices. In the Swipe Simple dashboard, you would just click on the tab here called Invoices and be able to view all of the existing invoices that have been sent from Swipe Simple. From this view, you can see the status, the customer, when it was sent, the amount, all different kinds of information. It's very easy to export it to search through to be able to find an invoice or just sort through them to see everything that's, let's say, unpaid, for example. You can open them up and view the details. Uh, but before we get there, let's see how you create an invoice for the first time. You would just click on Add New Invoice here and then start filling out these fields. We can start by entering a customer name and their details. However, if you have a customer profile set up where you already have this person saved and their email and so on, you can choose from the drop down menu. From here, it's auto filled her email because we had it saved on file. And I can also choose to put her phone number in if I choose to send this invoice by text. Um, so it can be sent by email or text. Then we've got an invoice number. This is randomly generated. I can change this number if I need to, but um, it will just randomly generate one for you already. Then the next step would be to enter the items that will go on the invoice. I can choose to pull from my inventory, and this is a really great way to track your inventory um, or just use things that have already been saved and have prices attached to them but we can also just type in anything at any time and create it from scratch. So in this case, I'm sending an invoice for a catering service at the farm, and I am going to charge $1,500 for that and say that it's taxable. I can also add things from my inventory and just keep adding to the invoice if I choose. I can add a discount. Discounts can be dollar or percentage amounts. And if I have any saved, I can click on it and it will be added to the invoice. And then I can choose to say that this is due at a specific date. So if that's the case, let's say it's due in 30 days, although I can choose any date. And then I can also put a note here. So because this is a wedding, I would like to say congratulations and put that on the invoice. Last thing, just add a tax rate if needed. And from there, if I hit send invoice, it will allow me to update the subject if I want to. So I can make that more personalized. I can change that. And then I can choose how it will be sent. So the default is to send it by email. However, I can also add a phone number and send it by text. And I can choose to have a copy of the invoice sent to my email just so I can keep track of it. After that, you hit send invoice and it will go out. So if we head over Back to the main page for invoices, we open up one of these that is past due. You can see what happens after. So this is a past due invoice. It was sent at this date, so we've got timestamps. So if I choose to resend the invoice, which once again could be email or text, the timestamp will update so I can keep track of how I've been sending them. I can also mark it as paid if it was paid some other way, or I can just void it. But if I click here, you'll actually be able to see what an invoice looks like and what the customer sees. So this is an invoice for this merchant. You can choose colors. You can even add a logo so it looks really nice. And they can very clearly see how much is due. They can see what they're paying for. Everything's very clearly stated. And from there, the customer would just put in their card information. They can even allow the merchant to save the card for future use. So using the wedding example, if somebody is paying for catering at this farm, they may also have other types of payments. And in this case, they can save the card for future use. And it's really easy for the merchant to, um, to just use the card on file going forward. Thank you for watching this video. To learn more, go to our website.